Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Betty, for the introduction. We competed for, it's the two Jonathans, right? So we're competing on every level for this presentation. <laughs> and we competed for the longest intro, and I think I won. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Um, I, I, I appreciate you. I know you've got a lot of other choices, and we really appreciate you being here for this last session, this last workshop of the, uh, this great event. Thank you for to DSF and DSA. Um, you guys are on the vanguard because you're here to learn about what is coming and the tidal wave that's coming our way in this industry and the, the vastly different future that we're looking at in this business. So kudos to you and uh, we hope that we can give you the information you need and the, the business case you need to take us home and make this a mobile industry which it deserves to be and it will be. So uh, thanks again. This session was created not only to introduce the industry to what mobile is but also to uh, kind of unveil our thought leadership product, which is the mobile app report, which you may have heard about. It was in the description. We've also been talking about it for a while. We just completed it last week. Uh, we actually went into the industry, looked at all the apps that are available now, uh, talked to clients, talked to the field, talked to the app developers, and tried to come up with a guidepost or a guideline for you guys to look at how to bring mobile into your companies. Uh, we think it's really valuable. We hope, hope you enjoy it and on the way out. Uh, Maria, my, my colleague from Moment in Factor, she directs our social <laughs> communities. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a pre copy of the app report. I think you'll find it very enlightening and very helpful in your business. So, the goal is really to bring this exception, exceptional tool to the industry and uh, show you guys how it's going to affect it. So, I've got a quick story I'll, I'll share real quick. Um, and I debated whether or not to share this story, but uh, uh, recently I was with a client at their retreat talking about Gen Y. We, we do a uh, kind of students of Gen Y and uh, trying to figure out how to market our companies to Gen Y, helping companies learn about how to do that. Um, and uh, on my way back from the retreat, I'm sitting on the airplane, and a young man, 21, 22 years old, comes next to me. Sits down, he gets all his gadgets in line just so, and he's ready to take off on the plane. And uh, so, of course, I struck up a conversation about technology and generational differences and how they feel about technology, and I asked him the question. If you had to give up your technology, what would you rather give up? Your technology or an appendage? And he thoughtfully considered and he looked at me and said, an appendage. <laughs> and I was surprised and uh, amused. I said, well, does it matter which? And he said, well, hmm, probably a foot, because I need my hands for my smartphone. <laughs> Although, one of my friends was in Iraq, and he lost a forearm, and they were able to put his prosthetic into, or his phone into the prosthetic. Wow. 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 This is a commitment that this generation has to technology. And I must say, I'm as committed as Gen Y, and I'm a latchkey carrying member of Gen X. And uh, I think many of the people in this room are probably very tied to their phones, and so it's not just a Gen Y question. But this is commitment. And this is where the world's going. And this, this guy was absolutely serious, too. So, um, good story. So where is the future taking us? What does mobile look like even in two years? What do our devices look like in two years? Can you imagine what they look like? You know, perhaps they're disposable plastic or some sort of sheet of glass that's connected to the internet somehow. Maybe it's some sort of visualization device, holograph, you know, Star Trek kind of stuff. You know, maybe it's on our hands, maybe it's on our watch. It seems like convenient to have your communications and your data right here on your arm. To be able to talk into it, do things, get things done, productivity. Maybe it's a combination of both. Could be a simple wristwatch pops out, you don't know what mobile's going to be. Set of glasses, right? Maybe Oakley is the Apple of the future. Maybe it's Ray-Ban. Screens in our field of vision giving us a new look at the world. This has already been introduced, Sergey Brin, by Google's. It's called Google Goggles. Give us an augmented reality of what we're seeing when we walk down the road. It may not look that cool. In fact, until you don't look like a jerk anymore, <laughs> they won't be that cool. No one's going to wear them if they're not cool again. Sorry. Gen X thing. <laughs>